embarking on Viking River last time around. A 14-day Christmas market cruise was very memorable. It was unique. The feel that you get during the Christmas season is very different and we thoroughly enjoyed Viking that's why we're embarking on a seven-day cruise this time with Viking but on an ocean as far as the river was concerned it's more chilled and laid back every day there was very minimal travel time if at all uh, you're gonna be at a new port every day but the downside of a river cruise if at all is that there aren't much to do on the ship itself there won't be a pool there won't be a gym um, and they do expect you to be boarding pretty much every day on land to play around but this time around, being a larger ship, it does have specialty restaurant, which is included. It also includes the excursion, the basic excursion, walking tours. Uh, the beverages are included during meal times. So that's one of the advantages of Viking. If you can find a good deal and if you're money conscious, I do think Viking provides value if you're going to utilize its surface to its maximum such as the drinks or the excursion if you're going to participate in it uh, i think it's definitely worth it if you're considering going on biking and are wondering what the food is like what type of stateroom you should be choosing do check out my other videos within my channel as i do have a couple more videos that go through more in depthly uh, what we experience uh, as far as the excursion the food and the staterooms are like until next time Killing me softly with this song.